sales and poker actually have a lot in common. In both you're going to make choices. In both you're going to be able to deal with change. In both you definitely want to be able to walk in other people's shoes and you certainly want to be able to handle your emotions. And that makes poker the perfect playing field to sharpening your sales skills. But you know what? Let me show you how that looks like. Welcome to the poker table. Now in sales, as in poker, we are getting dealt cards. In poker, we obviously call them cards. In sales, we call them leads. If you're wondering, I'm never getting dealt any leads, well, then you're not actually participating in the game called sales. Now let's deal some cards here. Let's assume you and I, we are playing together in a team with Vivian. We have received our cards and now it's our job to evaluate are those cards playable? Do we really want to invest our scarce resources into those cards, into that opportunity or in sales, into that lead? Our time, our money, our energy, our focus, our trust, you name it. This is the first choice we got to make. And of course, it depends on many things. I'm not going into it at this point, but we definitely have to make a choice. And let's say we are really confident concerning our lead because we are facing a high quality lead. And we say we invest some of our scarce resources. Let's say in this game at the pool table, it would translate into 300. Now the other competitors in this market have to make a choice as well, because keep in mind, the market is a competitor, uh, competitive field and everyone is trying to win what we in poker call the pot or what you in sales would call closing the lead, closing the deal. Now let's say everybody else joins the game. So as you can see, the pot is getting bigger. And is now 1200 at this point. What is happening next? Right, change. So here we are receiving some new information. In poker, we call that the flop. In general, like in business or in sales, we would call that um, the qualification phase. Now it's our job to make sense of the information that we are facing right now. We have to have an idea if our hand, our opportunity now has improved or if the quality of our hand, our lead, so to speak, has decreased. This is our job. Now, the beauty of poker is you can see all the information right in front of you. In sales, it's a little bit more tricky. You have to um, reveal that information. How do we do it? Usually with asking great questions, with gathering all the information, coming up with good interpretations um, with all the, of all the information that we receive from a potential client, from a lead. Okay, that is our mission at this phase, the qualification phase. Now, let's assume we are still very confident that we actually have improved um, our lead so that if this opportunity is worth pursuing and we are ready to invest more of our scarce resources, more of our time, money, chips, uh, in poker, energy, and sales. And let's say we come along and we bet, in this case, pot is 1,200, we bet 1,000 because we are very confident what we have figured out in the qualification phase through all the great questions we were asking very patiently, um, thanks to being really aware and having great listening and observation skills, we are confident enough to bet strongly here and pursue that opportunity. Now let's assume everyone, not everyone, but at least uh, this team here is pursuing as well. This team drops out of the out of this round of poker and let's say this team drops out as well. But it's it's not that important thinking about your competitors at this point. What you want to do is you want to think about the information that you have available and your competitors in your market, of course, always a part of your information gathering process. Now that ends this round here in poker. The pot, as you can see, has gotten even bigger. And now we have the next time where change is going to happen. In poker, we call that card the turn card. But keep in mind, this is not about poker. This is about using poker as a mean to an end to sharpening your sales skills. In sales, that would be the development phase. And our job now is it, because things are getting more and more expensive, to really make 
wisely informed decisions. And this is a place where we really want to dig deeper, understand the needs of our client much more in depth, and really moving the process of gathering information deeper and deeper and deeper, right? Because keep in mind, four out of those five cards, or in other words, 80% of the information is on the table. There isn't tons of stuff coming up. So we wanna make sure that if we proceed here, we have a very good plan, we have a very good reasoning to do so. This is the final information. There is no more information to come. In our case, it's the Deuce of Hearts. In poker, we call that card the river card. In sales, it would be the execution phase, meaning there's no more information to come, no more cards to come. And it's our job to really evaluate all the information we have on the table, everything that happened, all the things that have unfolded over the last couple of rounds and make the final decision. Are we ready to make a bold statement offering, so to speak, our final deal to the lead? Of course, going um, for the goal to close the deal. Or are we coming to the conclusion that this is a really bad card and things have really changed and we, of course, have the strength and the ability to let it go. In our case, let's say we are uh, still very confident, we still like this car, and we come to the conclusion that it's good enough to keep investing and, in a sense, make our final offer to the potential future client. And in our case, it's 2000, and now it's a time, of course, finding out if we're winning this pot, and poker would happen if this person drops out of the game, or if this person calls, and let's say this person does so. And that now would be the final moment where we would find out if we win this part, if we, in other words, close the deal. Now, as you can see, poker is actually a great playing field for exploring different new perspectives on sales, for taking a step back and reflecting. And of course, uh, a great place and playing field for learning how to become better at sales. If you ask me, it's for everyone. It's for completely sales beginners, and it's also for people that have decades of experience in the sales industry, because it's never bad, if you're asking me, to um, have kind of a playful, refreshing way of looking at the things that you do on a daily basis. And keep in mind, there's no need to have any clue about poker, because this is not about playing poker. It's about using poker to making you becoming a better salesperson and succeeding even more is a game called sales. Now, if that sounds cool to you and you wanna learn more about how you can use poker to sharpening your and your team's um, sales skills, just send me an email or, you know what, give me a call and I answer your, your questions. And of course, I'm telling you who actually won the last hand that we have seen before. Until then, take care and play well in the game called sales.